Now, once you understand how we can create nested routes and share the layouts between all the child elements, let's take a look at how you can list all the invoices in the application. Now, let's suppose that you have a JSON file with the invoices data. So, let's assume that you have a JSON file. So, let me create a JSON file inside this source folder. So, I'm going to create here a JSON file inside these components. I'm going to create a new file and name this file data.js. And let's suppose this is a type of JSON file. Inside this file, I'm going to create a variable invoices. So I'm going to say here, let invoices is equal to and pass an array of objects. So I'm going to pass here an array. And inside this, I'm going to add different objects. So let me add here an object, something like this. So inside this object, we are going to have a name, number, amount, and the due date. So we have all this information of the invoice inside this object. Now, instead of just one object, I'm going to add here multiple objects. So I'm going to paste some objects here, something like this. So once we have multiple objects, what I want, I want to create invoices using these objects. Let me first save the changes and then right down here, just out of this array here, I'm going to say export function get invoices. Now to get all these invoices, I'm going to create here a function and I'm just going to return invoices variable this one i'm going to return this variable from this get invoices function let me save this file back to the invoices and right up here i'm going to first import link from react router dom and then i'm going to import get invoices so i'm going to copy this get invoices function right from this data.js and import that inside this object and we are going to get that from dot forward slash data.js now just out of that inside this component i want to list all these invoices to do that i'm using map function so inside this division tag let me just get it of this div and right here i'm going to call main element to this main specify class names text center is the tailwind class to center all the text then i'm going to add here a division tag and we're also going to add here class names to this class i'm going to specify flex flex column and then specify here gap gap is going to be three so this will specify display flex to this division tag and then specify flex direction column and add gap between all the columns and inside this div i'm going to iterate over this array of objects so first we need to get invoices from this get invoices function so inside this component i'm going to say let invoices is equal to get invoices so this function is going to return this array of objects you can notice here and then i'm going to get that inside this variable i'm going to grab this variable specify that here inside this object and i'm going to iterate over this object using javascript map function and then inside this i'm going to say invoice i'm going to call here an arrow function something like this and return a link component now as you know we already imported this link component from the react router dom so this link component i'm going to specify some class names so right down here i'm going to specify class names class names is going to be bg gray 200 then i'm going to specify two property which is going to allow us to specify URLs. So to this two property, I'm going to specify the invoice number. Invoice number. Just for now, I'm going to leave this property as it is and then specify here key. You always need to specify here key because we are iterating over this component. So you need to uniquely identify this element and specify unique key to it. So I'm going to specify here invoice dot number. Just out of that, to this two property, as you know, we can specify the URLs. And what we are going to do is right here inside this two, I'm going to specify template string and specify here forward slash invoices this path, this one. And inside this, I'm going to have the invoice number. So I'm going to specify forward slash here, pass here dollar value braces, and then specify here invoice dot number. Now let me save the changes. Now just out of that, once you specify two property, inside this link right here don't forget to specify text to this link so i'm going to specify here invoice dot name 
as you know we already have name property inside this object so i'm going to specify that name here let me save this file and back to the browser and click on the invoices when i click on it you can see i'm going to have multiple links here if i inspect this if i open my application the root division tag and inside this here we have the main component inside this main component we have the division tag and different anchor tags you can see to this anchor tags we have the href attribute and to this href attributes we're going to have invoices and the invoice number whenever i click on this first link this link is going to navigate us to this invoice number and it will do the same for all these anchor tags so using this technique you can list all your invoices in your application so when you click on the link it will navigate you to the invoices url so, so let's suppose if i click on this first link you can see now in the urls i have the invoices 1995 and if you're back to your data we have the first invoice which is 1995 so this is the invoice number and we have this invoice number inside the url and now if you want you can use this invoice number to display the invoice information we'll look at that later just for now just look at this url first we have the invoices and inside that we have the invoice number this is because here inside these invoices we first specify the invoices and then specify the invoice number if you want to display your invoices right inside the root url you can get it off this invoices right from here now you can notice when you click on these links the page goes blank that is because none of the route we have defined match the url so if you back to the index.js then you can notice we only have three routes inside this index file and none of the routes is matching to this url so what we need to do is we need to create matching routes or we can create no matching route in this case you will notice we don't know any invoice number in that case we need to add no matching routes inside this application to create no matching routes what you have to do is you have to add another route inside this index file and you have to specify here route close this and inside this route you have to specify path and inside this path you specify asterisk this asterisk has a special meaning here it will match only when no other routes do so it means if we don't have the matching routes to this url i want to execute this no matching route so inside this no matching route i can easily specify element now that's upon you you can create and specify inline element as well so you can create here main like this and then specify here a paragraph then specify here there is nothing here and you can specify here some tailwind classes as well so i'm going to specify here text 3 excel and to this main i can specify text center to center the content let me save this you can see i'm going to have here there is nothing here this is because we don't have any sync component with this url so this is what we call the no match route now next let's understand how we can read this parameter and access the value of this invoice and display them inside a component 